She grew up in the limelight with a superstar mother, but while everything seemed like a dream on the outside, Chloe Latanzi was battling a deeper struggle within. My name's Chloe Latanzi. I was born to Olivia Newton-John and Matt Latanzi. I've been in the spotlight my whole life. After my parents like divorced, I went through this chubby phase. I ate to sort of comfort myself. I would see comments in magazines about how I was chubby. So around 16, I started to restrict food, exercise more, and then I got thin over the summer. I was all popular and everybody liked me. I just started to take it further and further. That's when my weight plummeted to a place where people were like, oh, something's not right here. Along with the anorexia came OCD and depression. My life became pretty out of control. I was recording my album and we were getting ready to release the first single and I took one look and said, you can't put press photos out, you can't do this, you look too ill. I didn't have a clear sense of myself, so I had my lips pumped up. I thought somehow it would make me more acceptable looking. I looked ridiculous. I got into using drugs and alcohol. I would read in the tabloids. I was this alcoholic, crazy disappointment that really hurt and hit hard. This was when I was at my lowest. Funnily enough, I met the love of my life at the sort of darkest time in my life. I knew he was the one who I couldn't be anything but myself with. I still have my battles today. When I read these things that they say, having big breasts, not being thin enough, it's like you can't win no matter what you do. Chloe joins us now, and wow, Chloe, it seems like you've been through quite a life's journey. Where are you at today? I'm really happy. I'm, I'm stable, and I'm in a loving relationship, and um, I'm productive. I'm the new face of a clothing line called Equestrian Designs, and I'm releasing uh, another single, and the album that I did 12 years ago that I, I was such a perfectionist, I didn't want to release it. I'm gonna be releasing it on TuneCore. It's from... <laughs> now in the paid piece, you address a number of struggles that, that you dealt with, mm -hmm. but yet you're here now opening up in front of us. I mean, how do, you, how do you feel about that? I'm really nervous. I mean, this is really terrifying for me. Um, the spotlight is easy for my, my mom. It's not, it's not so much for me. I'm shaking. I still have anxiety disorder and all that. There was rumors that I've had like work done, like plastic surgery on my face. Like, I really haven't. Um, I, when I was in the height of my body dysmorphia, I had a whole bunch of fillers okay. put because in. Because you were losing weight and you felt you needed to Yeah, and so like, I've had all that removed from my face because I like the way I, I look naturally. So this is my face. Well, I, you know, as a plastic surgeon looking at you now, I, I really think, I really think you're at a good place. You know, I saw your lips when they were, had just been done, they were, they were too much. I look back at myself as a teenager and I, I'm like, what a beautiful young woman. What was I thinking? Why was I so insecure? And I feel like there's, I think so many young girls are, are going through body dysmorphia and I think we're constantly, you know, told how we're supposed to look via Instagram and filters and I mean, there's constant so pressure, pressure for us to look well, and perfect. Especially when you're in the spotlight.